Alrighty, well, good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Uh, time once again for my pseudo cast, and um, this one here is gonna be kind of a hasty one. I'm kind of behind. Um, just before, just before I was gonna start getting all this set up, there was a, there was a video by a guy named Rufelmonger titled, "It's not or it's not against the law to play a top tier or it's not against the law." to play a top tier character in fighting games or something like that and I felt the need to do some commentary on it. I did I did disagree with him. It, it, but it it's it's in the video and I'll be uploading it here to YouTube eventually. But um but this time around, I, today is my lucky day. Um what you're seeing here is the planet Uranus and and the video. So they actually got it right this time. It's the NASA Voyager recording, and it's the correct picture of the planet, and it's a, I believe it's a still image too, like no movement or anything. So, but otherwise, here we go. Oh, here, let me. Okay, but um, but um. I'm still, I'm still sound checking. I'm sorry. All right, still sound checking. Okay, I'm gonna say close enough on the sound. Maybe just um. Yeah, I'll just leave it like that. Okay, but anyway, I'm going to try to go through this stuff somewhat quickly, because, uh, again, I'm kind of running behind here. I'm having to do commentary on another video, so. But but anyway, um, I did try watching some more of uh, Nosferatu, but the, the constant organ, as much as I appreciate the endurance that this guy has, I'm going to have to give the rest of the movie a miss. It's, it's the damn organ. It's that damn organ. It's just eventually I ended up tapping out. So, oh, that's right. I have a, I have the volume turned up in my headphones so I can hear it better. So, as far as uh, the, as far as what you guys are listening, it shouldn't be that loud. Okay, but. But anyway, like I said, I had to cry uncle on Nosferatu. Um, again, uh, as much as I appreciate the endurance that the damn uh, that the organ player has, it, it just got too annoying. I ended up crying, no mas! And I just calling it off. Um, after that, um, something that came up on my YouTube recommendations, um, something I haven't really watched in a few years now, um, the name of the YouTube channel is Amoeba Records. And they often had a, they often had an episode called "What's in My Bag." Like they would have, they would have various musicians. Some you might know, some you wouldn't know, some even I don't even know. But uh, they would uh, they would uh, go through the whole Amoeba record plays, and I think they were given like a, like a one hundred or two hundred dollar budget or something like that, and they would go and then uh, they'd uh, go in and buy buy a. Uh, buy enough records to to fulfill the budget and um they would sit on the couch and they would um they would explain to the interview person the records they bought and why and some back you know some backstory behind them etc so i mean it's really it's one of those i i found really neat to watch but again i haven't watched anything like this in a few years it just now popped up in my youtube recommendations and and before i forget again um i'm having me a can of v8 energy Peach mango flavored. But yeah, um, but the the more recent ones, like the ones that came out after uh, after the COVID virus hit, now they're more what's in my home and not what's in my bag, which which it, this is one of the this is one of the this is one of the evil thing, one of the bad things that um, the. Or, hang on, let me let me let me think of a better way to phrase this. 
this is one of the things that really sucks about the COVID virus. It's probably one of those things that went under the radar. I mean, um, like, AGDQ, the, um, you know, the awesome games done quick. Um, you know, people doing speed runs, but they often do it in like a, they often do it in like a, like an auditorium with a whole audience of people right there in the same room watching them do it. Um, fighting game tournaments, like Evil. They used to be freaking awesome as hell, like, you know, watching these kids play video, you know, watch these kids playing video games with a whole audience of people there watching them. I it was just freaking cool as hell. But ever since the virus hit, it's just not the same now. You know, now they're doing fighting game tournaments inside of an empty room. It, 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 it's just hard. It kills the immersion, I guess. That's the phrase I'm looking for. You know, speed run, same way. Now it's just you're watching a guy streaming at home, or uh, streaming a speed run at home, nobody around, you know. And now, uh, and Amoeba Records is no longer the same now. It used to be cool as hell, you know, watching these musicians walking through a record store and picking out their selections and then sitting on a couch and talking about them. Now it's, here's the record collection I have in my house. And uh, I don't know how, uh, I don't know how that works. Like, uh, what kind of criteria there are for uh, the albums that they show off at their house. I don't know how it works, but I mean, again, it, it ain't the same. You know, hi, my name's Billy Bob, and here's what's in my home. You know, and he shows, he shows some select records from his record collection. It, 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 again, it just, I can't get into it anymore. I'm like, I've got to see the old stuff. So, um, and I did, um, uh, this is, and this is, this would be a bad investment on my part. But I spent uh, I spent ten bucks uh, buying the first season of Breaking Bad. I tried watching the pilot episode and got about 10, 15 minutes in. I'm like, can't do it. I got as far as the part where um, I guess uh, he had a burp. I guess uh, Walter had a burp. He came home, came home like from the car wash or whatever, and. All of a sudden, surprise for me. It was like a birthday party for him, but I just, I saw this. I'm like, I can't do this. Um, I thought it to be too cringy. I mean, they're, I'm guessing, I'm guessing because they, it seems like they laid it on a little thick. They laid the meekness on a little thick. I mean, he's a, he's a high school teacher and he also works at a car wash. And uh, I think that might be too loud. Okay, let me turn it down from my end. Okay. But anyway, um... But yeah, he had a... He was also working at a car wash, and uh, I think a couple of his students... Uh, saw him work. Saw him. Like, and uh, like the girls, like, actually got on a cell phone. Oh my god, look at... Oh my god, my chemistry teacher, he works at a car wash! And that kind of thing. Um, but... I did have a relatable experience with that. Uh, back in the late 80s, um, the very first job I had was bagging groceries in a grocery store. And lo and behold, my history teacher is there. Back, you know, I was a senior in high school and I had history class and there was this teacher that I think he was also a, I think he was also a gym coach. I think he was. But um, he was one of those where if, um, if the kids got too noisy and unruly, they'd be, you know, they'd be talking, you know, talking during class, and then all of a sudden, HEY! SHUT UP! Like, and the whole class just... Just total dead silence, and he would, he would do this several times throughout the session. It kind of reminds me of how Cheech and Chong's sister Mary Elephant, now that I think about it. Okay, class. Be quiet, class. Class, class, shut up! Thank you. This history teacher kind of reminds me of that. But yeah, um, I got me this job at a grocery store bagging groceries, and there he was. Um, here, here I am bagging groceries for him and carrying him out to his car and everything. Pretty awkward moment, you know. He's like all warm and friendly and stuff. Like, 
totally unlike how he is it how he is at school. So yeah, that was, so that like I said, that was quite awkward. You know, like maybe the stress you know the stress of teaching was like really got to him or something. I don't know. But anyway, um, what I did start doing though, um, I started watch watching what I call Cliff Notes videos. Like, no, it doesn't show whole Breaking Bad episodes, but what it does show, you know, like, um, the best moments, um, I watched a timeline, I watched a timeline of Breaking Bad, and, um, I started getting, started watching, um, uh, oh god, what was it called? Breaking Bad and the Value of Human Life. I started watching that, got partway in it, um... As weird as this might sound, it got a little too philosophical for my taste. Uh, so I ended up losing interest. Uh, now, now the uh, yesterday the analyzing evil, the analyzing evil video I saw, they, he does a really good job of being you know analytical, but without getting too, without going too much in depth on morality and philosophy, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So which I don't. I'm not anti I'm not anti philosophy or anything, but I'm the kind of person that when it comes to when it comes to, you know, deep philosophy and that kind of thing, I would rather read it than watch it. It it just it's just how my brain works. Um I'm trying to think. There was I know I don't can't think of any uh, titles off the top of my head, but there's been a you know, but there's been a there's been movies and shows and whatnot that I've watched where it's just non-stop abusing about the world and about people and stuff like that. Like, like no, like, that that kills it for me. So, yeah, it just, it, it you know, get, they kind of they lay it on too thick, that kind of thing. But, yeah, I think that's what, um, that's kind of the problem I was having with this uh, pilot episode. It just they they kind of laid the uh, meekness on too thick. I mean, I would I mean I thought it would have been cool just him uh, just you know just being a mere high school teacher, but no, they had to throw in lung cancer and then they had to throw in the car wash and, and the embarrassment of his students finding him there, that kind of thing. So it just yeah, I think they kind of crossed the line. And now that I think about it. This is probably one of the reasons why why the 2D fighter footsies is my all-time favorite 2D fighter because there's no plot, there's no story, there's no there's no characterization or anything like that. All it is is just two people try to kick the shit out of each other. That's it. Because I've tried playing uh, Street Fighter 4. I actually had to switch the dialogue to Japanese because the English dialogue is so cringy. Um, Skullgirls, kind of the same thing, but to a lesser extent. It, 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 but uh, I think, uh, I'm trying to rack my brain here. Um, yeah, I think, uh, I, I think I did the, um, uh, on Skullgirls, I did the big band story, story mode. I didn't do all of it, but I got through, like, maybe... Maybe like the first scene or two, and it just I wasn't into it at all. It is it's all as to this day I still I still think that game there is um is if Newgrounds and Dead or Alive had a baby. Yeah, I, I, that's what it looked like to me. It felt uh, it's like a Dead or Alive Newgrounds game. So, but anyway, generally story and dialogue are major turnoffs for me, unless they're. Unless they're done done right, which, in a strange twist of irony, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Fighters, um, there's like a there's like a few cringy moments in there, but for the most part, I like it. Um, I like it enough to even start watching the Dragon Ball series, as you know, for those that have never heard any of my other casts. But yeah, I started with season one, season one, watching Dragon Ball. But yeah, like I said, it. You wouldn't, you wouldn't think so. I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm, aside from all the pedo perv parts, all the the pedophilia and the perverted stuff in that, 
in the in the show that I'm watching. Aside from that, I actually would have thought that I, I would have thought that I man, oh god, what the hell, you know, I would end up uh, ending it after the first season, but nope. For some reason, it clicked. Uh, same with Dragon Ball Fighters, but again, you, but you know, I would, I mean, I would have, I actually started playing that game with low expectations. Again, I was expecting to play like story mode or see some of the characters and be like, oh my god, this is awful, and then go off and play something else, but nope. Nope, it just, it worked, so. Um, but, yeah, it, uh, it looks like I've uh, pretty much said all the things I wanted to say, so I'll just go ahead and cut it off here. And, um, I got, um, I have two to, and I'm going to be pretty busy for a while because I got two, I, I don't, I don't have just one. But uh, two videos that I have to get uh, I have to get uploaded and all taken care of and stuff. So, figure now me about a good now is about a good a time to shut it down as any. So, but thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. Though I uh, appreciate that. And uh, tomorrow I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow, and I believe it will be my last one for the week. Um, I go back into work starting Wednesday. So, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday are my, are my work nights. So, you probably won't be here. Or, you know, with the exception of tomorrow's, tomorrow's cast, you won't be hearing from me again till probably uh, Sunday morning. So, but until then, thanks again for dropping by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye now.